Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Gaming with GeForce, and welcome back to part 3 of my Undertale Pacifist run. In the last episode, we went through the all the little snow mazes and did a few puzzles, if you want to call some of those puzzles. Um, now we're heading through Snowden Town to see what it has to offer us. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. So I'll go ahead and save the game, and I think I'm going to use the item box as well. Because I don't think I need the bandage and the toy knife and all that stuff. I'm going to buy some heal items. Hello, Traveler. How can I help you? Hmm. Um, I can do the bandana, though, for sure. 50 G. Good God. Okay, um... 11, 11, 22. Mm. Let's buy one of these. Let's buy one of these. Um, okay, yeah. That, that makes my inventory full there. Alright, so. Let's check out the inn. Welcome to Snowden Town. Snowden's premier hotel. Um... I don't have enough money to stay here. Yeah. Oh, you poor thing. I can only imagine what you've been through. One of the rooms upstairs is empty. You can sleep there for free, okay? Oh, cool. I see why the room's empty now. <clears throat> Hiya. You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Feel free to come back if you get tired. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Oh, let's check that. Oh yeah, 30 out of 20. Wow. That's nice. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Okay. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee -hee. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Oh yeah, I ran into that guy. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath the decorated tree. <laughs> It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh, okay. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Oh, wow. They're like all in here. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump in your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot, hot guys. <laughs> hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting! I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> it's the greater dog. I guess we can't talk to him. Okay. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach your leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip onto their butts. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. 
It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Grub said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Oh, so I like I can't even get to that door. All right, let's check the jukebox is broken. What? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be so morose about it? Hmm. I wonder what's up here. Let's play Monsters and Humans. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. <laughs> Does it just keep going on? Okay, there's nothing up here. Library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. I think that's enough books. Man, bro, you need to check your mail. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. Yes, it's empty. So that must be Sans mailbox. Okay then. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. Uh. Okay. So there's some of that ice there. That uh guy was throwing into the water. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocked the way. Let's check him. Papyrus, 8 attack and 2 defense. 
He likes to say, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we'll see what happens here. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Flirt. What? F flirting? So you finally rear your ultimate feelings. Well, well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. I can totally make some spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date l later after I capture you. He wants to go on a date? Papyrus, man. I don't roll that way, bro. I guess we gotta do that again. Let's, let's see what happens. Oh no! Let's date l later after I capture you. I love how I have more HP than what I'm supposed to. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's date later after I capture you. Hmm. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Uh. Whoa. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah. <laughs> You're blue now. Hmm. I wonder what I should wear. Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Whoa. Oh, I got hit. Papyrus dabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. Hold up. Longer to jump higher. Jeez. Oh, I got hit again. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Whoa. Papyrus dabs MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity. Okay, there's a blue one. Whoa! That was a sneaky one. Papyrus dabs MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Does this dude even have ears? Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> oh man. That's amazing. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghettor. Okay. Undyne will be really proud of me. Papyrus is considering his options. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Wow. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. My brother, well, well, he won't change very much. Oh, I got hit. Papyrus is considering his options. Um... I have lots of admirers, but... Okay. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? I don't know, man. I don't think I like you like you think I do. And if you keep hitting me, it's gonna be over. Whoa. I jumped, like, right through that. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Someone like you is really rare. Papyrus is considering his options. 
and dating might be kind of hard. Whoa. Papyrus whispers, yeah. After you're captured and sent away. Oh. Oh, that was not good. Um, Papyrus is cackling. Erg, who cares? Give up. I think I need to heal. That's probably a really great idea. Let's use an ice cream. Oh, there's claws. Natural. Your HP, your HP was make that, maxed out. Give up or face my special attack. Whoa. Okay, this is something I've already seen before. Papyrus whispers, yeah. Let's spare him again. Yeah, very soon. I will use my special attack. Oh. Not too long, and I will use that special attack. Man, it's so hard to jump over some of these. Man, I, I messed that one up myself. That was my fault. This is your last chance before my special attack. Okay, then, bro. Behold, my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh, well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Sigh, here's an absolutely normal attack. Whoa. Cool, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. That wasn't good. There's got to be a sneaky one coming or something. Well, Huff, it's clear you can't, Huff, defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. No! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quality will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends, or what a loser? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date yet, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward and until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh. I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah, heh, 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 heh. Okay. 
So I guess what we really need to do here is to go back to Papyrus' house and finish this off. But first, I want to save the game. So, let's go ahead and do that. And I think I'll buy a couple more heal items. Um, I only need one, I guess. And I need to equip. I need to equip that tough glove item, or not the the manly bandana. There we go. Um, faded ribbon that can go bye bye. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> My house! Okay. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. <laughs> it's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for new program. MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Okay. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Sans. Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Aha! Interested in my feud museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like... A cliche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Okay, so I guess we're done in there. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Yes, why not? Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well... Let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from a human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah! That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. 
The ending always gets me. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating HUD. <laughs> okay. Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. But really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Um, yes. <laughs> no! You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No. A genuine compliment. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. My hat! My hat? My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Let's open it. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh so wrong. This ain't no plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Let's eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by that extension, and by extension me. Maybe even more than I do. Ugh. Erg. No. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here? Or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that's what I was supposed to, I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? 
No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. <laughs> because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that was mildly strange. I think we're going to go ahead and step outside here. And this is going to be a fantastic time to end this episode. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this Undertale Pacifist run. I sure am enjoying playing it. It's uh, a lot different than the genocide route that I did. Because you actually are a little more involved. And um, I will see you guys on the next episode.